I like it working up here. Mm -hmm. What's the best part about working here? Me, all the nice people up here. Do people come from all over the country? All over, like China, Ireland, England, all over. Mm -hmm. I've been here for two years. I took them outside and showed them all kinds of landmarks here in Denver. My brown came from England on a ship called the Titanic and hit an iceberg. And that's how she got her name. I love my dad. <laughs> he, used to, he, he, he picks me up every night. I love to play music in the car. <laughs> Sometimes we talk sometimes. I talk about all kinds of some troubles we have. Do you help him out sometimes? Yeah. Yeah? How do you help your dad? Um to re relax sometimes. <laughs> right from the start, and I'll never ever forget the, the situation. Nobody in the family some years ago would confront me about things that bothered them that I said or did. Now they all do. I think that's Ted's fault. But one day I got angry at something and he just looked me right in the eye and said, you get mad at little things. And for a second I thought, will you? <laughs> but I knew he was right. So he's, he's gotten me with a, with an attitude now that I kind of prayed for when I was younger. I have other dreams. I want to be a big entertainer on stage like Garth Brooks or Alan Jackson. <laughs> Yep. I'm gonna set it up here. Right. Okay, now step back. Orange belt. So how do you get an orange belt? Tell me about that. You, you gotta do some, a lot of testing to you get your belt. What kinds of tests do you do? Like on our front stands and kicks, arm movements. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the arm movements that you do. Uh, we do a bar break sometimes. Is that a hard one? Oh, yeah. It, it, it hurts sometimes. Mm -hmm. What belt are you working for next? My yellow belt. And how do you get a yellow belt? With courtesy mm -hmm. from fellow students, mm -hmm. loyalty okay. for my instructor, Start. and respect Best. for my juniors Start. and seniors. Start. Bam. Bam. Start. 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 Yay! That's yay! Give me high 10, Maggie! That's probably the toughest part of this, you know. Ted is sharp and gets along well with people and can talk and everything. But you always know that there may be some dreams that that won't be fulfilled. But then, you know, when I when he used to go to our Battle West and wanted to date the prettiest cheerleader, I thought, no, this is tough, you know, because they all like him. But we know that probably won't happen. But then it's probably not happening for another thousand guys down there who would like to date the cheerleaders too. <laughs> So, you know, you got to kind of keep things in perspective also. But he's, he has a pretty good life, and I think he, he knows that himself. It's gonna to be tough for everybody because no one's expecting something like this. But I think if you just kind of enjoy the kid for a while, I know I read a book, I went to the library, got the most awful book ever. It was so bad, I just thought, I'll never read another book about this and I'm gonna pretend like he doesn't have it. 
And I think that just kind of got me through at first because he was so cute and was so much fun. And I just thought, this is the way I have to handle this. The other day I picked him up and I said, what kind of a day did you have, Ted? He said, I had a great day. I said, what made it so great? He said, I made it so great. I said, boy, that's pretty good. You know, it took me 70 years to learn that. <laughs> My life was great to, to me. <laughs> are there are there any things that you would tell other people about having Down syndrome? What that's like? Don't give up hope with these kids. They are very special people. <laughs>